Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about why Microsoft Teams can be one of the best project management platforms you can think of. How? Why? Let's go! So why Microsoft Teams? What are the benefits of using Microsoft Teams for project management? Well, when you're managing a project, one of the most important things is that everyone is on the same page. And that's what Microsoft Teams does best. It's not just a tool where you assign tasks and say, okay, this is what you need to do. It's a hub, it's a platform. It is a place where all of your team members can unite around one objective. It also eliminates the need for other tools. Because Microsoft Teams is a part of Microsoft 365, that means you can integrate a whole lot of features into those separate tabs in a project channel. You need Excel, just integrate it into a tab. You need tasks, sure, just integrate it to another tab. So your one project channel can have any tool you need in those separate tabs. And it doesn't just end with Microsoft tools. Thanks to the third party integrations and applications inside the Teams ecosystem, you can take Microsoft Teams, an already strong platform, into any direction you want. And flexibility is one of the most important qualities you want in your project management platform. But I think that's enough of me singing the praises of Microsoft Teams. Let's take a trip inside my computer screen and let me show you how you can manage projects inside Microsoft Teams. So the first thing we need to do when we're managing a project inside Teams is we need to create a team. So to do that, we need to click create a team. And once we do that, look at the templates we have. Right here, we have manage a project, pre-made, ready to go. Now, there are other useful templates for other situations, but this is what we need. And once we click it, it automatically creates four channels with nine apps already integrated. And these are more than enough, but we will add some more in the future. And this is gonna be a public team. Now, let's give it a name. So this is gonna be for a retail team, right? And I already have a description at the ready. We can customize these channels any way we want. Uh, then, we're gonna click create. And once the team is created, let's see what it looks like. And right here, we have our project, right? We have our team. And here's the general channel. And look, the tabs are just popping up here. We have files, notes, issue tracker, project tracker, and more. But the problem is the team is empty right now. And to add more people, I'm gonna click people. So let's add Adele, our retail manager, and Alex, our marketing assistant, and click add. Let's close it. And now let's click see all under people. And this is our team. Miriam is the account I'm using today. And in, in our members, we have Alex and Adele. And that's how easy it is to create your team. And trust me when I say, that team is gonna be your hub, your central platform for the entire project. You're not gonna need emails, you're not gonna need text messages. That team and the conversations you'll have there will be more than enough. And that's a good thing. But now let's take a look at each separate tab we have inside the team, their purpose, and how they can help you manage a project. Let's go back in. The first tab we'll be looking at today is files. This is a place where you can keep all the necessary files for your project, your Excels, your PDFs, your Word, what have you. And if you use files effectively, then you'll be able to access all the files you need wherever you are, whether you're on your mobile or working from a friend's house, you'll have access to all the necessary project documents on the go. Another channel that you'll probably be using very often that needs no introduction is notes. And this is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you can keep all your notes regarding your project. But let's take some sample notes here. Optimizing in-store customer experience. Let's add item one. And most importantly, item two right here. Now let's talk about issue and project trackers. Starting us off with issue tracker. This is a great place where you can keep track of all the issues that can arise throughout your project. And you know there will be many of them and you can put a description, and most importantly, you can adjust their priority. And it's a great place to deal with problems as they arise. 
Now let's take a look at Project Tracker. This is a place where you can pick work items, manage and track them. So let's click new and create a new work item. So we can put something in here. We can add a description and adjust the progress in progress, completed, blocked or behind. And of course, again, you can adjust the priority, start and due date and who it's going to be assigned to, separate notes, attachment of files inside here as well. Again, a great tab. So those were some of the built-in features Microsoft Teams has for managing projects inside their channels and teams. And they're amazing. They're more than enough to manage most projects. But there's a way we can take all the existing project management capabilities and take them up to the next level. And that goes through third-party apps, specifically TeamFlect. Now, let me show you what a great app like TeamFlect can bring into your project inside Microsoft Teams. So let's add a tab here and pick TeamFlect. If you can't find it, just search for it. Uh, we immediately press save. And once we do that, TeamFlect immediately adds a goals tab to the project, which is always welcome. So let's create a new goal for our project, All right? So let's pick an owner and it's going to be Adele as always. And let's give a title for this goal. We can add a description right here and select how our goals will be measured, right? A percentage is fine. And look, in the related groups, we see the group we just created and it's gonna be public and let's create it. And so this is what our goal looks like. We have the progression here, the related group here. We can add priority labels to it as well. And let's close it down. So look, our goal is right here. And if we want to update its progress, we need to click here and click update progress. Let's add 50 right here, save it. Look, boom, the bar is moved, and I think this goal is now on track. And let's close it. And look, the changes reflect here, obviously. But goals isn't all we can do with TeamFlect while we're managing a project. Let's take a look at what else we can do with TeamFlect while managing a project. Let's go to Post. Now, this is our centralized communication hub inside our team, right? And as we're creating a post, we can use TeamFlect by clicking the icon. If we can't see it here, we can click plus and add it here. But remember the goal we just created? Let's check on it as well here. So let's say project goal here. And let's say, is there any progress towards this goal? And post it. And it is a post now. Let's click see more and this is our message. Um, let's do something else. Once again, we're going to post. This time, let's create a task because those are integral to projects, right? So we're clicking new task. This time, it's going to be for Alex. Click here, add a title for the task, set a due date. We can turn this into a recurring task as well. We can add labels to it, align it with related goals and click create. And boom, the card for our task is ready to go. And once we click post, again, it is on the main channel. Now, tasks and goals are just a fraction of the awesome things you can do with TeamFlect while managing your project. You can use it to exchange feedback through customizable feedback templates. You can send out custom recognition badges to your teammates. You can conduct team-wide surveys like that and a whole lot more but this video is fast approaching 10 minutes so i'm about to wrap it up now but the best thing about teamflex is that it has a free plan for up to 10 users with full functionality you know what that means it means not teamflex light with limited features not a limited trial period where you have to pay up at some point no free with full functionality for as long as you need for up to 10 people that means you can try it out with 10 people in your organization for as long as you want. And if you like it, then you can invest in the whole thing. So if you want to schedule a free demo with TeamFlex, you should probably click the link in the description. And that brings us to the end of this video and in good time, because I think my next door neighbor decided to remodel their entire house today. But what did you think? What else do you want to learn about Microsoft Teams? Let me know in the comments. 
Guys, we release helpful Microsoft Teams content like this one every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss any of them. This was by far the longest video we ever did on this channel. So I think it deserves a like. Bye-bye.